we are going to install Cyborg Vault. So I have a server, Windows 2019. It is not part of any domain controller or anything. Cyborg Vault, Workgroup Computer. Also, I wanted to make it sure it doesn't have any other protocol in the network other than IP4. The vault has to be more secured. So I'm going to remove all the protocols that attach to this particular interface. And I'm going to stick to only IP4. Now, I'm going to install the vault. So I'm going to go and find out my software server install. Remember, I want to tell you the license key for this vault is on this particular directory. I am in go to the one and type right mouse key, run setup. So digital vault is getting installed. Detected a vault being installed over the RDP session. Continue to install the now allow the RDP session vault. You want to continue? Yes. This uh yes. I can give any name. So I can give a name called Jeffrey. And the company name is for an example. Jeffrey.com for an example. I put it there. I'm going to go for standalone vault. What is going to be installed under the private arc directory, program files, private arc. Safes are going to be stored under the private arc. You can change it anything they want you want. So I had to go here. I'll go to my software directory. This is the place where I give the server licenses. Server key, I'm going to get this one. Operator CD and remote IP address. We are not going to do any remote anything like that, which is you want to manage your vault remotely. You can do it, which is we are not going to do now. We will go ahead and install in order to configure control agents, specify the one. I'm going to get my IP address of this particular host. 36.60 I'm going to keep them my password a simple password I put it I'm not going to install any distributed communication platform I'm going to go just now I'm not going to harden the machine because it, it may create a problem for me now. I'm going to keep the same thing. CyberArk Digital Vault. There you go. Updating the registry. This is the master key and the administration key. You have to be very careful with one. Keep a simple password for now. I'm going to keep the simple password for now. Master key is the one if you lose the access to the vault the back door to get into your vault. It's creating the safe, it's creating the users and who can access it because we have only one. We don't want to install, restart it now. We installed the vault, but we didn't install the clients to access the vault. That's what the difference between a vault, a private arc and the pri client, private client. So I'm going to install the private client now. Cyberarc, can put any name, see private arc now, I'm installing it. Typical, I'm not going to go custom, private arc, it's very simple. Would you like to define your first private arc value? Yes. The server name is we gave with the host name. Cyberarc vault. An IP address 10.100.36.60 Administrator 
default administrator. That's the user we logged in. Restart, I'm going to restart it. You can see I, I have a private ARC server and a private ARC. This is the client. If I go to the private ARC, this is very simple. You don't have anything. If you want to stop, you can stop it here. It will proceed to stop. It will stop the server. Output is down. I can go and restart it. And you can see the uh, encryption that in the use AES 256 bit and uh, uh, RSA 2048 bit, SHA2. 512 so it's more secured environment now if i go to i can do the shutdown here also i can go and see the server lock what are the locks happening activated you can go and see every single thing we have done here it's about the server then i go to the private arc you have private arc vault Let me log in and I can go and set up the notifications. Uh, template of notifications and the method how you want to send it, what is the rule you want to set up. I'm going to go back and close it. I can go and set up the system setup. I can go and do licenses. If I go and open it, I will see what are the license key I added there. All information served. Passwords, parameters, how many the complex of pa pa password parameters we can set up. Who are the owner of it? By default, auditors, what they can do here. Notification can do nothing, operators can do nothing. So, this is the basic installation of CyberArc Vault. Thank you.